Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? And Are you telling us absolutely everything? Not exactly. We're also out of coffee. <gasps> Ah, that is better. One does not simply watch drum videos without a nice piping hot cup of joe. Right, we are back with a PayPal request. This one is for Jackie Sawachowski. Hi, love your reactions, reviews and analyses of drummers. Can you react to Gorgut's drummer Pat Hamlin performing Le Trois du Monde? Please, thanks in advance. Cheers from the Canadian Arctic. Well, first of all, again with the fancy names. Look, I'm from New Zealand. People here are called like Dave and Jim, Brian. You might get a Karen or a Susan if, you, if you're lucky. Jackie Sawachowski. I mean, what a, that's, that's not a real name. That's like a, a movie star's name. Pat Hamlin. I mean, already you can't not be a great drummer with a name like Pat Hamlin. And then we get Le Trois du Monde. A anyway, also the Canadian Arctic is part of Canada in the Arctic or is, or do Canada have territories in the Arctic? There's a YouTube online thing where obviously I could have a look. I could Google this, but it's much more fun <laughs> if you let me know in the comments and uh, while you're at it, get nice and angry with your vitriol about my lack of geography knowledge when it comes to Canada. Without further ado, let's hit this video. It is a completely new drummer to me, a completely new drummer to the channel. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. All right, I always uh, need to do this before I start any video. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to Pat just to show my support, give him a like already, because that's what, what we do. We're drummers, we support each other. Please do the same on my channel. Let's, uh, let's hit it. Look at that right hand go. That's what she said. I gotta say, straight away, I'm just already just delighted that, you know, I put out the word that I wanted some more, you know, heavier extreme drummers on the channel just because it's not my wheelhouse. Don't know much about extreme drumming at all. So um, I'm already excited that there's another uh, heavy, extreme, fast, something completely different for me. It's all good. Got those minors going. Sabians on there too. Guys, I will be stopping this video throughout before, <laughs> before the vitriol starts. <laughs> I will be stopping this video throughout original video link as always in the description of each video. Please do go along, of course, support the artist, give them some love and subscribe. Um, there is always a lot of interest in things like grips. That's so just said. real quick, he switched there into tr what we call traditional grip where basically your right hand is in the match grip position, but your left hand switches to this. Basically the script, there's different variations on it, but um, yeah, it's interesting that he switched to trad. Already I'm going to be picking, it's for the more textured parts of the uh, piece of music. I'm going to just go back. Let's see, um, let's have another look at this transition. So obviously this is like full power, fast, you know, and then we're sw switching to a more subtle textured uh, style. Flipping it around. It's a lot lighter, right? 
playing a lot lighter on that left hand. I'll save this for afterwards. Remind me at the end of this video to talk about why. Okay, sure. He's playing more textured, so he's gone to traditional grip. Why? Remind me to talk about this at the end of the video. It's one thing to say, oh, I switched to traditional uh, to play more textured. Cool. Why though? Back to match. That repetitive ostinato he's got going on the left hand. Cha, 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 cha. Like a, a swing uh, pattern there. So he's, you know, thinking in triplets, thinking all, all different kinds of stuff. Each limb doing something completely different here. That's what she said. Some pretty serious independence, speed, facility. Yeah, we got it all. This is a great pick. Jackie Sawachowski. <laughs> yeah, it's a great pick. Back to Trad. We're thinking differently. We're in a different grip. We're thinking different. Hand under the stick. That's a clue why we might play Trad. Under and over on top. Look at the size of that bell. Look at the size of that thing. On the ride. Damn. Sense. Where do you get the bounce? Where do you get the shape in a hi hat pattern? Or overall, playing the drums in general, how do you get shape and body and weight? How do you make some things feel more weighty and intense? Dynamics.
significant independence here. I love hearing drummers uh, catching hits and filling it up. Talked about this uh, with to do with uh, Bill Ward, Black Sabbath, a lot. Hitting accents, hitting uh, ensemble band figures, crashes uh, with the band, and then filling it up with, you know, their personality, their style. I also really, really appreciate here how this is all live. Um, it, it sounds all, you know, completely live. Uh, in the moment in terms of like as opposed to like triggers and stuff nothing against triggers nothing against drummers who use triggers at all it's just nice and refreshing to hear um the, this type of drumming and it feels quite organic um and yeah i always talk about how much i respect these players who you know i don't play the style but i really appreciate so many things the orchestration, the speed, all of that stuff. But man, the independence and the touch here as well. Just so, I mean, first class, world class. Smashed it. So, occasionally, uh, well, actually fairly regularly, to be completely honest, without blowing my <laughs> trumpet, but quite often the uh, drummer who I check out in these videos and uh, enjoy and learn from, they will often comment on the video, uh, which is always incredibly, you know, it's a bit of a fanboy and also a very humbling moment for me. Um, so if Pat Hamlin uh, somehow ends up watching this or someone who knows Pat shares this video with him. Um, I mean, so many questions, so many questions for these guys because I can't play any of this. I can't play any of this style at all. One simple question I would have for Pat is, why do you, and this is not trying to catch anyone out, of course, it's just a, a genuine question, why do you switch to traditional grip? I'd be curious to know, you know, what, what's your, maybe you don't even think about it. Maybe that's just what you do for certain parts of the song. Um, why switch from matched, which looks to be working perfectly fine. Why switch to traditional? Um, and everybody might have their own take on or reason or answer to that question. Um, and I was sort of getting it before with myself. I consider myself almost solely a matched player. Uh, the type of music I play, I kind of want my hands to sound the same. Um, so it makes sense to me for my grip to be the same and uh, fulcrum to be the same. And you know, you're getting the same weight and the same sort of stick height often and gravity and everything. It just it makes things a bit easier in that sense. I will switch to traditional. I actually did a whole jazz degree playing traditional grip which even I struggle to believe that now because I kind of don't, I kind of don't play tra traditional at all these days and I kind of can't play traditional very well at all these days. So I'm not going to give you a demo. But for me personally, I feel like <sighs> straight away, as soon as I switch to this grip, I start thinking differently. Straight away, I start thinking differently because physically and mentally, my hands are different. It feels like they've got a different role. The other thing to think about is match grip. Hand is on top of the stick. Traditional, think about this. Your hand is actually basically under the stick. Now, who knows? I mean, you could think about that in various ways. I feel like you can get a really, really low dynamic and you can do really textured light shading like let's say on the snare drum yeah i mean yeah i'll leave i'll leave some uh juice there for uh hopefully pat someone's gonna get pat to watch this and chip in with his his reasoning um not that you 
you're going to completely go against my point here. Not that you need a reason to do anything. I'm not challenging anybody. I, I, I'm just curious. Um, there doesn't even need to be a reason. You might say, but I don't know. I didn't even think about it. Beautiful. Probably a really great musical answer. You just, you just do it. Um, or, you know, do you want to feel different? And do you want to uh, almost put yourself in a, your mind and your body in a, in a literally a different place to what you were doing before? I don't know. It's just, you know, uh, you don't often, I think, see it with um, the more extreme players. Who knows? Maybe Pat's got a background in marching or jazz. I'm not sure. Maybe he's just plays traditional as well. Absolutely fine. I'm going to stop before I get myself in trouble because it sounds like I'm critiquing him. It's the absolute opposite. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Yeah, hopefully you've thought of these things too. Why? Why traditional? Why matched? Jackie Sowachowski, thank you so much for the pick. As I said at the start of the video, uh, completely new drummer to me. Really, really dug it. Uh, and another heavier, uh, extreme uh, sort of type player that um, yeah, I'm looking to check out more because, as I say, completely out of my wheelhouse. Guys, if you dug the video, please do consider hitting that subscribe and like button and leaving a comment with what you thought of this video and what I should check out in the future. If you would like to support this channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you get access to the blocked videos and it just helps me out, helps to keep the lights and the mics on. If you have a direct reaction request, I mean, I always do my best, but if you have a direct reaction request that, that has to get done, guaranteed requests are done through the PayPal system. It's a contribution to the channel and I will guarantee that I will do your reaction probably within a week to 10 days. Remember you as a subscriber of my channel get access to a full free 30 day trial with Dromeo. Again, link in the description, go check it out thousands of drum transcriptions and you can learn from the world's best drummers. Guys, until next time, take care. Ciao.